are flying to Tonger, Tangier in Morocco. I can't wait, seriously. This weather in the Netherlands has really been getting to me and I'm so stressed. I need the sun in my life. Let's check out what kind of weather it is in Tonger. Let me see, let me see. Tonger, 19 degrees. Chefchaux and 15 degrees, so it's in the mountains. Marrakesh, 26 degrees. And Esaura, a beach town. 26 degrees come to mama oh my gosh those are actually also the four cities that i'm going to visit actually that we're going to visit together in the upcoming two and a half weeks so let go i'm honestly quite insecure about what to wear in morocco obviously i want to be covered up enough but as you saw in marrakesh it's going to be 26 degrees so what what am i to wear so i got this on top so this um jeans shirt uh, another jumper sweater, red one, another longer one underneath it, you know, cover my beauty and uh, just some leggings. I hope this is okay. Yo, this was the fastest check-in and passport control ever. I think it only took me 10 minutes or something. Also, winning a life, I thought I had to pay for check-in luggage. No, go Royal Morocco Airlines. I like you. It is almost 2 30 so we still have well at least 45 minutes before i really have to go to the gate the plane is leaving at 3 45 pm <sighs> i can't wait i'm so excited the plane yes this is hashtag non-spawn by the way i'm just very very happy that i didn't have to pay for my check-in luggage and if you're wondering Ivana, why are you so happy? That's quite normal that you don't have to pay for, in for your check-in luggage. Well, my confirmation email didn't state that I could bring check-in luggage. And then I called the, um, the airline and they said like, yeah, you can only buy it at the airport and it would cost me like 55 euros each way. So 110 euros extra on top of the ticket. And the ticket was 133 euros. So I was like, hmm, wow, no. But I didn't have to, I could just bring the check-in luggage. By the way, seriously, I feel alive at airports. I already feel like a little bit more Ivana again. I will feel fully Ivana again when I'm back in the sun and in the mountains and nearby the ocean. Oh, I can't wait. Also Harira and, and, and um, legume tagine, like vegetable tagine. Yes, yes, Morocco, here we come. Okay. Helemaal goed, dankjewel. Dank je. Royal Morocco Airlines. I really like it. They just changed my seat number so I can sit next to the window. Which, if you're a travel vlogger, is important. Seriously, I know I'm going to the right country. And the place smells like delicious food. I can also window seat life. nice flight I had this cutest um, well actually a grandma next to me and she asked me to fill in her tourism visa and it was so strange to see like she didn't have a birth date in it because she was from 1935 and probably born somewhere where they didn't register her birth date so it was it was just such a cute experience seriously I always have this with older people um, I think I said this a couple of times before but I don't repeat it too often because people will think I'm crazy but I always feel like my grandma is traveling with me and I always have all the people watching me and taking care of me and just ah, so nice well look at the sunset behind me wait I don't know if you can see it yeah <laughs> loving it already it's so green that's the first thing I noticed it's so green got my backpack unfortunately I lost my yoga mat which for me is a problem because I can't do two weeks without yoga. Um, I'm gonna figure out tomorrow if I'm gonna fix that, but now we're in a taxi and on our way to the Made it to the hotel and it is so pretty, like the hallways and everything. Uh, also the floor, look at this. Oh, this totally makes me feel like I'm in Morocco, man. 
and this is the bed this is actually quite hilarious there's plastic all over the couch <laughs> but it's still fine like it's just for me myself and i and here is a small bathroom Wait, let me show you um hello <laughs> we're morocco baby you know the first thing that i'm gonna do after i took care of everything that needs to be done is eat look at this look at this my first veggie tagine look how delicious this looks oh it's so steamy it's so hot oh can't wait to eat it man and i have some fresh bread over here oh my gosh this is gonna be a food feast i think the traditional way of eating it is you know breaking the bread like this just oh man okay this is not really working oh it is and then eat it like this okay i suck i know i suck don't judge me i really suck okay just gonna eat with a fork for now mm. all of the moroccan food i ever dreamed of mm -mm -mm. so the bread is actually sliced in half so it's easier to break <sighs> I'm sorry, this filming is all over the place, okay, but it's just because I'm so freaking excited. Are you eating this? Mm. It's so good, man. Well, hello, I'm a little otter. Don't be scared of me. Oh, I think, oh no, no, it's the correct way. Look, I'm a little otter. My friend Masha brought this mask for me from Hong Kong and it's the best mask ever i love these after a flight so my first impression of morocco looks beautiful the nature looks awesome the food is delicious the people are nice i think we're gonna have a good time here man so i'm just gonna you know relax with my mask read a book and then go to bed tomorrow we can explore more in tanger you have to look at this video it's gorge look at this wow and the day after we're going to chef Chuen, the blue city i'm so freaking excited if you would like to travel along click that subscribe button and if you like this vlog and you're excited about morocco put a thumbs up thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye